Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll look at the creation of RESTful web services using Oracle REST Data Services and PLSQL. In a previous video, we looked at the Auto REST functionality, which is really quick and easy if you want APIs that interact with a single table or view. In some cases, we don't want to expose services which are that atomic, as it requires the person using the API to understand the database design. Instead, we want to expose real-world tasks as services. For example, it's unlikely the creation of a new employee involves an insert into a single table. But the creation of an employee is a real-world task we want to expose. For this reason, it may be better to create PLSQL APIs to perform the work and expose those as RESTful web services. To keep things simple, all the examples in this video will be really small and won't include any proper error handling. There are links in the description box below that include more complete examples. We create a test user called test user 1 and grant it the create session, create table and create procedure privileges. We connect to the new user and create the emp table. We insert the usual data and now we're ready to start. We enable ORDS for the test user 1 schema and assign the base path of HR. This is a schema alias used in the web service URLs which lets ORDS know it's dealing with objects in the test user 1 schema. We define a module which is a collection of templates or URL patterns. In this case I'm making the module name and base path match. We then define a template which is a collection of handlers. The combination of the schema alias, module base path and template pattern make up the web service URL or endpoint. So in this case we expect HR, REST v1 employees. The handler associates some work with the template. In this case we create a handler for the HTTP GET method and link that to a query. With this in place, when the web service URL is called with a GET request, the statement will be run and the results returned in JSON format. Here we see the web service URL with the HTTP GET method. When we send this request we get a 200 OK response and a return payload of a JSON document containing all the rows in the table. Let's add another template to the module. In this example we add an employee number to the end of the template pattern which allows us to target an individual employee. This bind variable is included in the query. Once again we have a GET request, but this time using the new pattern, adding the employee number to the end of the URL. When we send this we get a 200 OK response and a document containing the information for the specified employee. The user ORDS modules view displays information about module definitions owned by our user. Template definitions are displayed using the user ORDS templates view. And the handlers are displayed using the user ORDS handlers view. Let's move on to modifying data where PLSQL comes into the frame. Remember I'm keeping these examples really simple so they only perform a single action and I'm using standalone procedures when in real life I would always use package procedures. We create a procedure called create employee that accepts the necessary parameters and creates a new employee. We're reusing the basic employees template and adding a new handler to it. This handler is for the HTTP POST method and has a source type of PLSQL. We then create a block to call the stored procedure with the relevant parameters. From our REST client we issue a POST to the web service URL. This time we specify the content type header with the value of application JSON and send a raw payload containing the name value pairs for all parameters. Notice the employee number 9999 and the name hall. When we send this we get a 200 OK response but we get no output returned as we didn't code a return document. If we check the table we can see the new row is present. Now we create an amend employee procedure. It accepts all the necessary parameters and we use those to update the specified employee. 
we add a put handler to the employees template which calls the amend employee procedure. This time we use the put method with the same endpoint. We have the same content type header of application JSON and have a raw payload containing the name value pairs for the parameter values. Notice the name has changed to wood. When we send this we get a 200 OK response. Checking the employee table we can see the employee name has changed to wood. Finally, we create a remove employee procedure. This deletes the specified employee. This time we add a delete handler to the employee's template, which calls the remove employee procedure. We send a delete request to the employee's URL with the same header. And a payload which specifies the employee. This gives us a 200 OK response. When we check the table, we see the employee has been deleted. This should give you an idea of how you can expose PLSQL APIs as web services using ORDS. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.